Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is going to be your weekly read for the week of April 18th through to the 24th. This is a general reading, will not resonate with every Cancer propensity. Um, this is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placements you may have in your chart, there may be messages in the reading for you. If not, you are more than welcome to check out any other sign propensities that you may have in your natal chart. I am currently available for a short time for personals. All that information is in the description box. And welcome back to all my old subscribers and welcome to my new subscribers. Okay, one card out. We're gonna jump right in. Messages for Cancer, messages for their greatest and highest good. What are the messages we have for Cancer? April 11th through to the 24th. I'm also going to grab a Animal Oracle card and a Worker Light Oracle card at the end just to give you some more guidance for the week. All right, what else do we have for Cancer, please? Could be dealing with the air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Sagittarius energy I have here so far. Three more cards for Cancer, please. What do we have for Cancer? Ooh. <laughs> One more card for Cancer, please. And I do only take Junkers. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Empress, major arcana, empress energy at the bottom of the deck for you this week. Cancer, beautiful energy. Okay, whether it's, this is just fertile energy, definitely could be you harnessing this energy or someone in your environment. Or this is just potential that you have to tap, tap into, right? Empress is just abundant. She's the everything turns to gold energy. You know, career, home life. A relationship she she flourishes in all aspects right some of you could definitely be finding what you're expecting because the empress is usually expecting you know she's the mother she's the caregiver she's the house how homemaker bunny ears right but um someone could, that can just hold down the fort in multiple aspects right good in business good in the garden good in the home excellent parent you were you know but definitely beautiful energy you have it all in other words right Okay, your first card out in the past position is the King of Swords. As I said, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but this is kind of cold energy. So whether this was you in the past or someone you may have been dealing with, very cold energy, logical energy, not very emotional, okay? Um, definitely could have cut somebody off as well. Could be arguing with somebody or just the energy between you and this person has been very cold in the past. Not much communication or very blunt communication not much emotions involved or this could be someone that had to make a logical decision because the king of swords is very logical okay present position major arcana temperance okay a situation that needs to be balanced here it looks like something might be off balance especially with this um king of swords energy in the past right but this is divine timing as well okay um, as you can see, she's balancing the cups. This is also a card of patience. So some of you might be being patient right now, just hanging out, waiting for the chips to fall in place. Maybe you did cut something off with someone or you're just taking a step back, letting the universe step in. But whatever it is, um, definitely some balancing going on, the right intervention at play. Future position, you have the three of cups. See what I mean? If there is someone that you are at some type of odds with and you guys are not seeing eye to eye, very cold, the situation has grown very cold, might be on a break from this person right now, definitely could be a home situation with that Empress card at the bottom of the deck, definitely could be a situation that you walked away from as well, because I do see the Eight of Cups underneath the Empress, so I am definitely could have separated from this person, that's why it's become cold, that's why the energy is quite cold, and with that King of Swords, he doesn't, you know, hesitate to swing, but reconciliation celebration energy here so whether this is between you and this person um, maybe you're hoping to reconcile maybe this person is reconciling to you maybe someone is coming into some sort of clarity that they're you know maybe wanting to reconcile this situation that has gone cold but divine timing is at play and there does need balancing but it looks like it may happen someone could feel um, regretful here because i have the three of cups with the two cups in the temperance card that gives me five of cups 
So someone could be um, definitely regretting either walking away or, you know, not taking more action in the situation. But I do see a reconciliation sort of reunion energy. Three of Cups does speak to you reunion in the future after the situation has been balanced. Underneath the King of Swords, Moon card, past positions, definitely some unknown, some things were unknown, right? And I think that's why you cut it off or whoever cut it off or whoever had to become very logical. That's why the situation also became very cold, right? This is unknown. Usually feelings, you know, not expressing ourselves fully, not completely let, you know, showing our cards, not completely letting our emotions be, oh, be, be seen. The moon does speak to our emotions and it does speak to things being hidden. It also speaks to fears, right? So there definitely could have been some fear in the situation that was preventing things from becoming more warm. Underneath your temperance card in the present present position, Queen of Swords. So definitely not talking, definitely very cool the situation. Could be a friend, definitely could be a relationship. I do have cups here. Um, could be a home situation. Um, Someone that you're in a relationship with that Empress at the bottom of the deck, but definitely some, some cutting, some cutting words were either um, already exchanged um, you know, everyone's being logical, no one's in their heart space, everyone's kind of thinking with their brain and doing what their brain is kind of telling them to do, very cold, you know, straight to the point energy, um, or there's a conversation that's going to need to happen here, someone maybe wants to have a conversation, absolutely, with the king and queen of swords, definitely a true match in one aspect of the other, so definitely could be a couple, king and queen of swords though usually the divorce couple but this could just speak to the the energy between you two it's very cold right but future position underneath the three of cups knight of cups okay so someone is definitely going to reach out here for some sort of recognition this is um an energy of you know a love like emotional emotional offering someone offering their emotions to you whether verbally you know obviously verbally but verbally you know letting you be aware of their emotions and this is really good energy coming seen from where we come from very cold you know maybe hiding emotions as well definitely the moon card underneath the king of swords someone was definitely hiding their emotions here and they were probably very deep because you know the moon there's a lot we don't see about the moon right but someone's definitely going to be reaching out here knight of cups three of cups definitely someone wants to reunite they want to bring back the love into the situation right Someone definitely could have feel like, felt like they missed an opportunity. Three plus one, four of cups. And they don't want to miss an opportunity. You know, based on coldness. Because swords energy could also be ego too, right? Very much ego-based energy, logical thinking. Let's get you an animal oracle. What do we have for cancer? But definitely some sort of communication, some sort of, you know, offer, some sort of emotional conversation definitely with the king and queen of swords it definitely looks like a conversation needs to happen and um someone wants to fix it but absolutely divine timing is at play the universe is at play here you know either the two of you are balancing yourselves out separately but um definitely looks like there's going to be some sort of um communication some sort of you know emotional understanding and reunion energy back to a balanced place one card for cancer, please. Messages for their previous and highest good. Okay, you got two. I'll take it. Sacred beetle spirit. Magic works through you. Absolutely. So there's definitely going to be some sort of exchange here with someone, right? And depending on where you stand and how you approach it will depend on where this thing is ends up but with the nine of cups and the three of cups i definitely see that maybe you're also willing and open to this conversation because i have the three of cups with the king of swords and the knight of cups with the queen of swords so it definitely seems like you guys are both open to communicating you know emotions letting you guys know where you stand and that's going to be the magic right being authentic in this communication coming from the heart space and also you got cow spirit the miracles are endless this is a card of abundance right financially emotionally this is being extremely happy right usually financially but definitely you know some sort of outpouring some sort of opening heart space mind space some sort of conversation you know or the two people the two of you opening up is going to allow this abundant feeling to you know and of course abundance right some of you could definitely be finding out you're expecting 
Let's get one card for Cancer, please. April 18th to the 24th. Messages for their greatest and highest good. Ooh, this one flipped over, the other ones didn't. Pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Absolutely. Someone is being guided towards you. You're being guided to have this conversation. You're being guided to open up. It's time to put down the sword energy, right? This conversation needs to happen. Stop the hiding. Someone is definitely coming out of hiding emotions and keeping things a secret, though, because the moon energy is in the past position, and it is with the king of swords, so it definitely could be a masculine energy that is in this um, concealing of emotions, very, very deep emotions at that. And whoever's in this Queen of Swords energy is kind of just hanging out, chilling out, letting the universe deal with it, right? But the both of you have cups, emotions on your mind, okay? That is what I have for you this week, Cancer. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, thumbs up the video for me, and I will see you next week.